I'm playing some more Horizon Zero Dawn, still on the same playthrough, but I'm on a mission for the side, you know, collectibles. I've been doing as much as I can. Oh, darn it, I forgot to turn my phone's volume down. <laughs> now, uh, did the Ancient Armory side quest. Got Aloy a nice piece of armor that negates a fair amount of damage. Now, I'm currently tracking down a metal flower. That one was easy to find. But is it going to be? No, it's not going to be easy to get to. Hello. Yeah, I've got a couple of friends. Get over here, dummy. I'm here. These things don't like to listen. That flower and GTFO. Whoa! Calm down, friend. Stop it. That thunder jaw, not happy with me. Okay. <laughs> Still no damage. Okay, I think I'm gonna go up this way first. Because there's a Banuk figure right there as well on my way up to that metal flower. Now, mind you, I don't have the built-in stealth features, and this armor is absolutely non-customizable. Downside from this one, but I'm liking its natural abilities. <laughs> I'm just running through. Ah, no. And I've actually found a couple of randomly placed corrupted machines. Like, I've gotten rid of all of the corrupted zones now. I'm just sitting there like, why is it still corrupted? I, uh, I took the skill that allowed me to knock machines over easily, well, more easily, and also I took the ability that the lower my health gets, the stronger my spear swings are.
Go ahead, turn around. I figure I'll have him fight it out. I need a trampler heart. Whoa! Nope, I've been seen. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, fall out of the sky. And now, for the first time ever on stream and for me, I'm gonna override a glint hawk. Well, oh, I overrode the glint hawk, that's all that matters. <laughs> Killed the scrapper. Come on. <laughs> it's not even necessarily side qu side quest stuff in this. Could just meet. Oh my lord, that trampler is beefy. I just got hit twice. Oh, now I'm getting hurt. It does have to recharge after a while. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't shoot your cannon at me no more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was actually my plan, was to take as much damage as I could to see how long. Be fascinating. They weren't looking for me.
Oh, this thing is not happy. All right. That's better. Of course, as you know, I have a fairly good sized medicine pouch now. Oh. A behemoth and a long leg. Metal flower could be in here at any location. But it's up here. Patterns on this flower are so strange. Let's see, so we're heading up this direction. And yes, I've even jumped off a mountain before in this armor. And it did enough damage right off the bat and still had enough kinetic force left over to bring me down to 100 HP. Look out below! But something like that would have normally hurt a lot more. And you hear that little indicator sound. That is the uh, armor saying, Hey, I've charged up the barricade. You can be reckless again. <laughs> oh, might need that. All right. So I gotta find my way up here to collect a little wooden figure. Come on. Up the mountain. Now the true question is how do I start climbing? Oh, one of the power cells to get to this armor was actually located in Gaia Prime. It was the last one available, and all of them took place... Well, all of them were located in a story location. So, I mean, they made it fully possible. I could have this armor by the time I reached the last mission, you know? But because I was doing a blind playthrough, I wasn't looking it up. first power cell was back in an area where, well, back in the area where Aloy got her focus. Exactly. I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to get up there. This is how you get back down. Hmm. Yeah, that's true.
I mean, like it said, it did put me right back to before the last mission. So that I could decide to do all of this side questy stuff. Ah, I hate when you get an eyelash right in the eye. But no, today will be the day I get the trophy for getting to level 50. How much gets past them? Yeah, definitely. I definitely don't think I could do that. There's one. I right, how she repels. I don't think I could do that. There's so much that could go wrong. Like, could you imagine if that hook didn't catch? And bonsai. Yeah, those scrappers definitely sound like hyenas to me. Don't need freeze rhyme root. I will say this about this location, it's very pretty. Just stay out of their way for now. Now, I've been thinking about for the, uh, for the next... Oh jeez. Uh, for the next playthrough, I don't know if I'm gonna... replay the... beginning movie there, or... if I'm just gonna... start, like, normal, you know? Ow. There. Well, I reached level 50. Yeah, I'd be willing to do that. Oh dear. Oh, I didn't mean to run through snap moss. On the bright side, they're not gonna hurt me too terribly bad. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do a two hour long video like I would normally do. Oh, hi, Stormbird. You can just keep laughing on. I don't want nothing to do with you right now. Go away. Getting soaked from melted snow. Oh, come on, there's the metal flower. Ow. Okay, so, missing two Banuk figurines, five viewpoints, and a metric shit ton of metal flowers. Uh, <laughs> collectibles are right there and there. So if I fast travel to that campfire <clears throat> oh. That's a good thing, yes. You know, the spark worker outfit protecting from shock damage. I love how the people that get captured and brought to the bandit camps are like, yeah, we'll set up shop here, why not? It's like, seriously? flower bay. This just gives me a general location. That's okay. It was under the bridge. I'll probably only go on for maybe 20 more minutes. Yeah, I don't want this to be a super long video like the story quest ones. Oh wow, that was an easy find.
Now, what were you doing out here? Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, with one of the vision, or one of the vantage points I saw earlier, it was Denver Stadium. Ugh, the loading screens on this game are the worst. That's what a lot of this video is going to be, though. Because I'm going to fast travel if there's not a lot in one spot, you know? And of course, there I go rhyming. Figure out where the vantage point is. There it is. Now the question is how to get up to it. I'm trying to figure out what to do for multiplayer madness tonight. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. Trying to get Jim's opinion on the matter. But he is in the midst of doing errands at home, so... Well, out and about. Nope. I'm up there. Wait a minute. You know, a lot of these vantage points get this really uh, stomach-churning jump in them. A pocket shit storm tour, day nine. Oh wow! I was setting up my tent right here when Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could. I know she I does. Slipped into a coma. Stop tensing up. And Ugh. 
I'll go to Sunstone Rock and get the... I knew what you meant. I'm liking the vantage points. They're kind of like the Ubisoft games with their towers, but... No, this isn't a Ubisoft game. But the long the tall necks were more like those. These just provide story. Right there is probably because there's a rappel point up there. That is probably where we need to go for this vantage point. See, with how they made Apollo look, it did kind of look like um, the things I'm seeing when I do the vantage points are the data points that Apollo had, but we know that's not the case. I definitely believe there's a strong possibility of a sequel to this game. Especially because Silence did the, yeah, stupid thing. Which I hope everybody, I hope people are at least watching the entirety of my playlist before I say this, but I've already done an official playthrough, so... Um... No, Silence keeping that small core with Hades in it is a bad idea. Apaka shitstorm tour day seven. I was three months out of rehab when we went camping out here. Wyatt went to sleep early. So it was just the two of us when we stayed up and watched the Perseids. After. So we talked about the stars and space tech. I suddenly knew what I wanted to do with my life. Okay. I'm going to see about finishing up the vantage points. Primarily because I want to get one set of the collectibles done.
Yeah, I have a rope caster. I should be using it more, but I just... I don't. It's one of those, it's kind of like the uh, trip caster, where you have to shoot one point and shoot another point. Except you have to shoot one point, aim it at the ground, and shoot the other point. And it won't immobilize a machine unless you shoot it with enough rope. It's just at that point, I would much rather use the uh, tear shot arrows and deal way more damage to the machine and take off its dangerous components. Yeah, I do love the repelling as well. It's just, I don't think I am brave enough to attempt that I would attempt it in real life. Scene. Easy enough. Day twelve. As we watch the booster arc up into the night sky. Riding a pillar of flame, you took my hand, squeezed it, and said, You have written the story of our family across the stars. I think this is the building of the Sun Ring for whatever its original purpose was. All right. I completely forgot. I'm now I'm now able to override the bellowbacks. And the stalkers. I was crazy enough to fight stalkers hand to hand and override them. Snow it prickles on my skin. Y'all don't see nothing. Eh, they look more like crabs than spider and spiders, Aloy. I do get insanely curious as to what the purpose of certain machines were. Like Sawtooths, they were meant to purify the planet's oceans. Stormbirds. Oh, yeah, I really did. I fought three of them hand to hand without firing a single shot. And I felt kind of amazing afterwards, you know? <laughs> like, holy crap, was I really that badass? And to be fair, I did only manage to override one of them. to listen to that jackass.
Whoa. Why didn't I override that one? Do it. Just go about your business. Okay. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. Come on. Amazing to see the before and afters, honestly. Okay, that'll be the that will be the last vantage point. Just gonna figure out how to get there. <laughs> Well, long legs started seeing me. This broadhead needs to move a little bit faster. Stupid. This is stupid. Oh. Yeah, that fall normally would have killed me. <laughs> or at least gotten me darn close. There's the viewpoint. They're scanning for me. I couldn't help it. Sometimes I just have to pick a fight with those, especially when they can't reach me.
Oh. Kind of blended right into the wall, didn't it? Bandages found. But instead of overdosing at Wyatt's cottage, I went out walking along the water. I was standing right here when the idea hit me. And the moment it did, I knew I had to do it. Hmm. Wonder what his idea was. Alright, so, uh, that's all I'm gonna do for today. Yeah, I just wanted to get all the vantage points. So at the very least, I've got, you know, a couple, a lot more metal flowers left, and two Banuk sculptures, well, figures. But, uh, that's all for today, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch, and as always, stay wild, everybody.